Pacific Club, gave some updates on current on the current water line replacement projects and other initiatives occurring uh, in the Iron Park community. I want to thank Mr. Zeke Moore, the president of the Conaway Pacific Club, for inviting me out. Uh, this sat past Saturday, neighborhood protection demolished another dilapidated structure in District K. It was located on 12413 Warmony, uh, right off uh, South Main. I want to personally thank Greg Mackey and his team for staying on top of this property uh, to be demolished. Uh, this past Saturday, the Glen Iris community initiated a cleanup. Uh, I want to thank Pat Frazier for spearheading this event in her neighborhood and rattling so many volunteers to participate. On a side note, there's excessive dumping that occurs along the West Airport segment of Glen Iris. Even though this thoroughfare is intended to, intended to be constructed as a four-lane roadway on the one side was constructed, the excessive dumping is occurring in the city right-of-way on the portion that wasn't built. I'm asking neighborhood protection to routinely patrol this area and report uh, on the illegal dump. Uh, additionally, Southwest Crossing on Saturday hosted their annual meeting, uh, whereas I was the featured presenter. I gave an update on various community initiatives occurring around the neighborhood since they're uniquely situated both in Harris and Fort Bend counties. Uh, uh, they cannot thank the council often enough for their newly planted trees along West uh, Forum and Hillfront. Thank you, Trees for Houston. Uh, and so uh, I want to thank Mr. Robert Brown for inviting me out. Uh, in between uh, uh, the Glen Iris Community Event, Southwest Crossing Annual Event, um, uh, our office was able to make a portion of the Chief McClellan and the HPD Citywide Community Town Hall meeting at TSU. Uh, so, Mayor, thank you uh, and, and HPD for putting that town hall meeting on. It was, it's always informative. Uh, this past Saturday, our office participated in Windsor Village Community Black History Celebration uh, at the Higher Park Market Service Center. I want to thank Windsor Village and the Windsor Village Park Association for inviting us out. Uh, again, we talked about Congressman John Lewis on past Sunday. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Lawson for a fantastic event. I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I think Jerry Davis had about 12 lamb chops at the reception. Uh, so I had to get him out of his mouth. But, uh, uh, it was a great, great event. Uh, this past Monday, how often hosted a public safety forum with the Glenshire Patio Homes community at South Yester at the HPD substation. The turnout was great among the Glenshire Patio Home residents. In addition, Cap uh, HPD Captain Robinson and uh, Precinct 7 Captain Phillips did a great job co facilitating the forum. The dialogue was healthy and informative. I want to thank both captains and their team of officers for working with this residential community. Yesterday, I attended the Glenshire Community Association annual meeting. This was in concert with uh, the planning department's uh, presentation of the minimum lot size area application. When the minimum lot size area ordinance comes before the council, when their minimum lot size area ordinance comes before the council, I hope to have the support of my colleagues to do this initiative for. Overall, the turnout was outstanding. Over 200 residents turned out for this meeting. I want to thank the Glenshire Board for always inviting me to the annual meeting. Uh, as you continue to drive through areas of District K, we're still planting trees. The massive tree planting event is a continuation of the District K Clean It Up, Green It Up campaign. And after the trees are uh, planted, we'll move into our spring community uh, cleanups. And so, friendly reminders tomorrow evening, TECQ will host a community meeting relative to a proposed Tannehill transfer station that will be located. Uh, 800 block of Holmes Road. Public hearing is scheduled at 7 p.m. at Iron Park Multi Service Center. I strongly encourage all Iron Park community and businesses, business leaders to attend um, um, uh, this meeting. Also, tomorrow, the Fort Bend Super Neighborhood Meeting will host this monthly meeting at the Quail Road Community Center. Feature speaker will be Tech Stop to discuss current and upcoming projects planned for the Fort Bend Houston area. I encourage all Super Neighborhood stakeholders to attend. Uh, this Saturday, uh, the District K office, in partnership with BART, will start a week-long service of free spray, uh, spray and neuter services to District K residents. The BART Wellness Service event will be held at the Iron Park Multi-Service Center at 6.30 a.m. and will continue to 7.30 a.m. Services will be provided on a first-come, second-first-serve basis. If BART can't get you on Saturday, they will schedule another time for you or your pet to be, uh, your pet to be spayed or neutered. <laughs> 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 Please bring a current ID with the current city of Houston address and the board of heaven. And finally, Mayor, may I need some help? Uh, for the th past three months, I've been asking the Parks Department uh, to work with me uh, uh, with a contractor. 
this contractor, uh, uh, we passed uh, about four months ago to plant trees along West Belford and Kirby. Uh, the workmanship uh, of the company was dismal. Uh, the trees are dying. Uh, it does not look good. Uh, we have a warranty, a two-year warranty for these trees and these, and these esplanades. And I've been asking repeatedly parts you know, for several months now to follow up to do something to help us with this. Uh, and uh, I even asked, could our office contact the contractor to deal with the, uh, the issue? And uh, uh, Parks said no, that, that they would handle it. So uh, maybe uh, you can speak with Parks and see if we can get some, um, some assistance um, getting these dead trees off uh, this and get them replanted um, on these estimates. Thank you. Council Member.